In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to build simple waffle charts. Now, many people don't consider them best practice, but I think they're pretty fun to build. First off, I need to give credit to Russell Christopher. His great blog, Tableau Love, has an example of how to build waffle charts, but I'm going to do it in a bit simpler way than he has. To start, I've created an Excel spreadsheet that basically creates a grid, a 10 by 10 grid, and assigns a percentage to each one of the of the uh, the the squares that we're going to come up with. So square one uh, in row one, column one is one percent, all the way down to ten and ten, which is a hundred percent. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Tableau, and I'm going to connect it to this Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect to data. It's an Excel file. So let me just go ahead and connect to my waffle chart template. All right, when Tableau connects to this, you'll see it's got the row, the column, and the percentage. Okay, good to go. So I'm going to make my columns and rows both dimensions. And I'm going to start by just putting my columns in the columns, my rows in the rows, and just to show you what it's doing, I'm going to stick percentage on the percentage. So we can go ahead and format this if we want. Set the default number format to 0% just to make it a little bit easier. So now the layout of this depends on how you want the waffle chart to build. So I think I would probably like mine to start by, uh, let's say, on the bottom left. So what I want to do then is I want to have 1% down here. So what I need to do in that case is I need to um, sort my rows in descending order. So now it'll go 1 through 10, 11 through 20. Some people like to have them this way, where you have the bottom right as the 1%. But I'm going to leave it this way for now. Okay, so let's take that out of the view. So the next thing we need to do is connect to some other data. So what data do we want to display on here? So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and connect to Superstore Sales. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new field for profit ratio. And this is simply the sum of sales, oh, I'm sorry, sum of profit divided by the sum of sales. All right, so now we have a new profit ratio field. Let's set our default number format to uh, one percentage point. All right, so now what we want to do is we just want to take profit ratio and throw that onto color. And let's see what happens. Oh, that didn't quite work. Well, it actually did. So Tableau is blending these data sources. And since there's nothing to blend on, Tableau is giving us the overall profit ratio, 10.2%. That's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and move that to the detail shelf. Now we're getting this message, this warning, because we haven't told Tableau how to blend the data sources. So I'm actually going to just uh, choose to not show this again and hit OK. We don't have anything to blend on. OK, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to my waffle chart, and I'm going to create a simple calculated field. Um, I'm going to call it box to color. And I'm simply going to say that my profit ratio is greater than or equal to the sum of my percentage. So remember, over here in my Excel spreadsheet, my percentage is just, uh, it's almost like a, a, a flag for that box. So this is going to result in a Boolean, a true false. And so the, the profit ratio is either above or below that percentage. So let's go ahead and drag that to the color shelf. And now we get a series of blocks. When I hover over one of these, you'll see it says 10.2%. So I'm getting the first uh, 10 boxes drawn there. So uh, to color these, I'm just going to go ahead and let's make our trues green, and let's maybe make our falses the, uh, the light gray. But you'll notice that as I try to resize these, it can be tough to get them just right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put a dummy field in here, the average of 1. That's going to give me some boxes here. And let's go ahead and fix our axis to go from 0 to 1. Hit OK. And now we can hide the header and then make the size of these bigger. So now this is going to fill up the cells. And we can go ahead and maybe put a white border on. So that looks pretty good. 
from here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, untick include in tooltip, untick the show header, and then untick the include in tooltip, unclick the show header. And now my box color, I'm going to also choose on, on that. Okay. So now, oh, sorry, actually, I need to show my header here again because I need to resize these. So I want these to be squares. So I'm just going to drag this over ever so slightly until it's a square. And now I can untick the show header. So lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the box in the middle. This looks like it's about the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and annotate that mark. And what I want to put in here is my profit ratio. So I want to center that. And let's go ahead and maybe make it like 24 font or something like that. Hit OK. And now we get a box right in the middle. Perfect. So I can move that box around so that it's just where I want it. So maybe like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and format that box. I'm going to get rid of the shading. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the line. So there we go. We now have a box that shows 10.2%. So that's really the real basic part of a waffle chart. I'm going to actually going to go ahead and change my color here. I'm going to make my false a lighter gray. Okay, there we go. So now uh, what we could do, uh, I don't, okay, so I need to do a little bit more formatting here. You see we've got these gray lines down the side. So I need to go ahead and, oops, I want to format the view. And I need to go ahead Actually, I can just make my row and column dividers white. That might be the easiest thing to do. Oops. White. And make this one white. And now I can go back over here and say no borders. Oops. Uh, okay, no, no, I do want that. Let me put that back on. Okay, there we go. So now we have a nice little waffle chart. Uh, from here, I could go ahead and let's say we want to look at it for a particular region. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the region to the filter shelf. You'll notice I get a null here. That's because when I blend, Tableau doesn't know uh, what to do with all of the records from the primary data source. So it sticks them in, in, uh, in this null. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick central. And look how it switches to 10.3%. And then I can switch it to the east or the south or the west, whatever we want to do. All right, we can add more things to the filters as well. So maybe we want to pick a specific product subcategory, uh, or maybe let's look at a particular product category. And let's say we want to look at furniture. That's only 2.9%, not very good. Okay, so we could go ahead and maybe pick office supplies or whatever. You kind of get, hopefully this gives you a good idea here on how you can build these up. All right, so, uh, the last thing that uh, I would probably want to do is go ahead and maybe create a box for each region. So uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to just pick a single region here. Let's pick just central. I'm going to go ahead and hide this box. No big deal here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the region on the detail. And you'll see, uh, oh, it looks like our box went away. But let me go ahead and make this, make this an attribute. Okay, so now our box is back up. And I want to do that because I want to go ahead and use my region in the title. Uh, let's go ahead and make that bold and center aligned. All right, so this could be central. Uh, all right, actually, I probably don't even need to do that. I could take that back off. And then the title could be, let's reset that. There we go. Make a bold and center. And now I can duplicate this sheet, make it east, duplicate the sheet again, make it south, and then duplicate the sheet one last time, and make it the west. Okay, there we go. All right, so, uh, and then I'm going to apply my product category filter to everything. So now if I pick office supplies here and furniture here, you'll see as I go across, my those will be checked. 
So the last thing I probably want to do is go ahead and throw together a nice little dashboard. So um, I'm just going to call this profit ratio by region. Or maybe I'll put it more in the form of a question. Which regions have the highest profit ratio? Something like that. Go ahead and make it bold. And I'm actually going to shrink this up. I'll make it a little bit not quite so wide. Maybe shrink it down. And then I'll go ahead and throw these in here. I'm going to stick a container in here so that they all stay equal size. Central, South, and the West. All right. And then we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of my region filters. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to make this a single value drop down so it doesn't take up so much space. And I'm going to throw one last container in here because I want that to be in there along with that. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and pick a product category. And we need to resize these so they fit the entire view. All right, so there you have it. That's a quick, easy waffle chart. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Have a good day.